I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will analyze the first difference from graph. Normally we find first difference from table of values, right? So here we will do in the reverse way. We have three different graphs here. The first one is of a linear function. So let me write down this as linear. Now we know this represents parabola is represented by quadratic. So let me write this as quadratic. And here we have exponential. So these are three different graphs and what do we expect? We expect that for the first graph, first difference should be constant, right? So for the first graph, we expect first difference, we are talking about first difference, that will be constant. For the second graph, we expect uh, that first difference should not be constant, but second difference will be constant. How about first difference? It will, however, have a pattern and that pattern will be arithmetic in nature, right? So that we say the pattern will be arithmetic. So you could get the next terms by arithmetic series, for example, and in case of exponential graphs, we will get geometric pattern. for the first difference. Now let us see what does it really mean. When we say first difference, then we are trying to see what happens for unit change in x value. So in these graphs, we can say along the x-axis, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can have points which are one unit away. So starting from 0 in the first case, first point could be that. The second one unit away will be at 2, third will be at 3, 4 will be at 4, correct? So let me write these points in the form of a table. Then we can find the difference and also see how it changes, right? So what we notice here is that at 0, at 0, x value of 0, y is 0. For x value of 1, y is 1. For x value of 2, y is 2. For 3, it is 3. For 4, it is 4 and so on. So the first difference here is for every unit change in x, what is the change in y, right? So that is the first difference, correct? So what we notice here that the first difference is 1, which is constant, right? 3 minus 2, 4 minus 3, 1. And what we see on the graph is when you move one unit along the x-axis, that is this much, along the y, you move how much? That is delta y. So in each case, what you notice is delta y is kind of same. Do you see that? Delta y in each case is equal to 1. So you're rising by 1 as you move right by one unit. And that is what we say is a constant first difference. I hope that is clear, right? So let us see this, what pattern do we see when we are talking about a quadratic function. So I have taken very simple examples. This is the graph of y equals to x. Here we have graph of y equals to x squared. And then we have a graph of y equals to 2 to the power of x. Now we'll analyze the second graph and see how the first difference changes. Now let me make a table as we did earlier. So we'll do both on the graph and with table of values. So let me write down the values for x and y. In this case, for 0, the value is 0 for y. In case of 1, it is 1, 1 squared. For 2, it is 4, 2 squared. For 3, it is 9. For 4, it will be 16. So that's the point which is 16. Now if you calculate the first difference, that is 1 minus 0, 4 minus 1, 9 minus 4, 16 minus 9, what do you get? 1 minus 0 is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, 9 minus 4 is 5, and then you get 7. So this first difference, this is our first difference, right? That is delta 1. I'm calling delta 1 as the first difference. Here, you find an arithmetic pattern, correct? You can get all the numbers 
1357 by adding 2, right? So that is kind of a series. So you have an addition pattern here, right? So you can say you can have addition pattern. So for a quadratic function, the graph is parabola and first difference has an addition pattern. That is what we learn. That is to say that for every unit change in x, how much does y change with? So it changes by 1 and then the next change is by 3 and the next change is by 5 and then by 7 and so more. That is plus 2 each time. So that is the pattern followed by the first difference. Now let us analyze the same thing for an exponential graph, right? So let us take up some values. It becomes easier uh, to, you know, correlate. So for 0, x value of 0, y is anything to the power of 0, you know, is 1, right? For 1, since it is a graph of 2 to the power of x, it will be 2. And for 2, it is 4. For 3, it is 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. For 4, it is 2 to the power of 8, which you can see from the graph is 16. Now, in this case, let us find the first difference. That is, again, we will do 2 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 8 minus 4, and 16 minus 8. 2 minus 1 is 1, then 4 minus 2 is 2, 8 minus 4 is 4, 16 minus 8 is 8. So that pattern which you see is kind of a multiplication pattern, right? Multiplication pattern. Since it is base 2, we have times 2 each time. So it is times 2, right? So this time it is times 2. Earlier it was add add 2 and in this case it was constant right same right just 1 so what you notice here is that if the function is a linear function then the first difference is constant if the function is quadratic then you have addition pattern in the first difference and if the function is exponential in nature in that case you'll have multiplication pattern in the first difference right so by analyzing the first difference itself we get fairly good idea about the type of graph especially if it is linear quadratic or exponential i hope that helps thank you and all the best